I think Tommy's gonna be back in this season, especially with Too Big getting out of prison. Like, Too Big! Too Big, what's up? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So y'all, first of all, I'm sorry. I have not picked up my camera in two days, two whole days, okay? Because for some reason, for some reason, sis just did not, I just, I just, I was tired from work. It was just a lot, hold on. So yeah, y'all, I was just tired from work and honestly, I just kind of felt like I had no motivation. So, but today I was like, you know what, pick up your camera, Brittany. It's Vlogmas, don't give up. So yeah, I'm actually about to go out and get Chipotle. I've been craving it for the past like three days, so I need to get it. And yeah, so I think I'm going to get Chipotle and then we can have like a mukbang. So I'll just like talk to you guys while I'm eating. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So y'all, I just, I got, I did my makeup and stuff because I don't even do my makeup when I'm in the house, you know? Working from home really like makes you a bum. Not a bum, like lazy, but it makes you like, you don't look like anything. I get braids so I don't gotta do my hair. Like, I'm really looking like anything in this house sometimes. But yeah, y'all, so I have to talk to you guys about my move, which is literally coming up so quick in like four weeks. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that some more tonight too. But let's go get this Chipotle bowl because I'm hungry. All right, y'all, I got my Chipotle, and this is what it's looking like. Um, Honestly, this is a lot to, one, film. First of all, I got chips, because I wish y'all could see my table while I, like, eat. Let me see. Let me try to get my setup together, y'all, because I can't eat downstairs because my family's eating downstairs, and I wanted to talk to y'all, so... Which is kind of the benefits of me moving because I kind of be in my own space and I can like, you know, do this in a more open space. Um, so it's difficult to do it right now, but I'm going to get it together. Let me think. I don't think you guys thoroughly understand what it took for me to get to this place. Right here. I have the ginger ale. Because I do not know where to sit. In my room, like I said, I had to come upstairs. First of all, I can't eat Chipotle without chips. I think I've had to do it like twice ever. And when I say it was a struggle, it's a struggle. I also get the vinaigrette sauce. Superb, superb, superb. I actually can't eat it without this either. This like adds a flavor that I just, I can't live without to be honest. So in my bowl, which is what I was talking about earlier, y'all, um, what do y'all get in y'all bowls? Because in my bowl, I get the same thing. I never, like, stray from what I get. Um, I get brown rice. Um, I used to get fajitas, but I think they started making my lips break out. So I stopped getting them because, like, every time I ate Chipotle, my lips were breaking out. So I narrowed it down to, like... Either the vinaigrette sauce or the fajitas. But I started to get the vinaigrette sauce again and my lips didn't break out. So I pinpointed it to the fajitas. So I get brown rice. I get chicken, no beans. I get queso all the time in my bowl. I also get um, some of the hot sauce, the medium sauce, which is the green sauce. And I get corn and I get lettuce and cheese. And that's my bowl complete. I just started getting corn because I've only had it like once before, like in the past. I just started getting it again and the onions and the corn add like a texture and a flavor that's just, it's just, it hits different. So yeah, I actually like pour 
one of the vinaigrette sauces. I typically get two. So I pour one of them into my bowl. And then the other one I dip my chips in and then I eat with the stuff in my bowl. So it's like double, double vinaigrettes. It's just I need it on both. I need it on my chip and I need it in my bowl. Also, y'all, are y'all like a um I eat from the top to the bottom or eat from side to side bowl eater? Because like for example, I think I'ma eat, I eat on top so what's on the bottom, you know? Like I get a scoop of everything, but I have to eat from like the top to the bottom. My dad is like a eat from the side to the side. Like his whole right side of the bowl will be cleared. And mine's, I'm, I'm not like that. Y'all can act on my scrunchie. So I had to put my scarf on because I just, my hair cannot be on my face when I'm eating, especially when I'm eating Chipotle. Like this is one of my favorite places to eat from. I don't play with my Chipotle, so don't play with me. It's the first sip for me. The first sip just does something different. And let me try these chips because you know what? You know what blows me off? Is when Chipotle gives out stale chips. And I meant to try before I left. Thank you for it. The first bite of your Chipotle bowl is like unreal. Like it's like I don't even know y'all. I don't know. So y'all, let's first talk about Vlogmas because this is what I wanted to talk about. Vlogmas, and then I want to talk about the show power, and then um something else. I forgot. I'm gonna think of it. Like, before I really entered that conversation, I had to do that because it's just so good. I just, I can't. But yeah, y'all, so Vlogmas has been very interesting. Today is December 9th, so it's Vlogmas Day 9. And um, I've been, so of course you guys, like, you know, the chips are just crumbling in my hands. As you guys know, like, as I said before, this is my first Vlogmas. It's something new to me. So, you know, I've been trying to work on my consistency anyway. So this was a this was a good step towards working on becoming more consistent because I'm forced to, not forced, but I'm embarking on something that makes me have to post every day, which, sorry guys, I didn't post yesterday. I didn't, I'm sorry. But, um, which makes me have to post every day. And that helps me with just being consistent and things like that. But I think my difficulty comes into play when I want to think of, like, it's Vlogmas. I feel like people want to see vlogs more. And, um, but I work during the day. So it's like, do you want, um, to me, it would be boring to see me at work out all day, you know? Um, and then I try to start vlogging after work, but then it's like late. And then... As of right now, I'm posting on the days I'm, like, I'm videoing. And so it's kind of a lot. And I'm not, sometimes I don't do anything after work, you know? So it's just like a, I'm trying to think of how to do it. I need to also, like, start filming some videos in bulk again. So I can just post some of those sit-down talk videos during Vlogmas as well. Because I, last weekend I was super lazy and I didn't post, I didn't, like, bulk create videos. So... Yeah, I'm just getting used to it still. I'm trying not to get demotivated because, you know, that is that can happen easily. Um, and I also not am not sure if you guys like my um, vlogmas right now, just because my views have kind of gone down. Um, but I just know that realistically, when I watch vlogmas, I'm not watching like a smaller YouTuber. I'm typically watching like the more popular YouTubers. Um, they also just Sometimes just do more. Um, and so, and that's not always the case, but I'm just going off of my experience about who I typically watch on Vlogmas. And so, 
I'm just wondering if you guys like this content. If you don't, let me know what you want to see because I can add that to my Vlogmas portfolio. You know, I don't have to do all Christmas um, videos. I am going to start doing more videos about my move because um, that's what I wanted to mention. Because I am moving in about a month. Oh, it's so good. It's the kick for me. Like, it's a kick with a hot sauce. And, um, the queso. It's, like, peppery. So, I'll be having a kick. And the onions from the corn. That, the onions from the corn is so amazing. Like, but, yeah. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying my Vlogmas content. Make sure you watch my videos. I'll, I've been linking them in the description box below. So, you guys can just, like, go below and find them. Like, my vlog, Vlogmas 1 through whatever day I'm on. Um, yeah, so make sure you tune in. Also, that's what I wanted to mention, like I said, my move process. So I am moving um, in the middle of next month, January. And so it's about a month and a week. It's about a month, a little under like five weeks where I'll be moving. So I have begun to pack some of my stuff. I typically pack I some of my stuff in bins. So some of it's down in my basement. Some of it's in my closet back there. I'm definitely going to be vlogging my move day. I'm going to do like a moving vlog. And like an unfurnished and furnished apartment tour. Who is calling me from this number? I've been having mad random numbers call me. Like, it's the telemarkers, and they're blowing me, honestly. Why are you calling me? But, yeah, so I'm going to be doing all those type of vlogs. Um, My move, me going grocery shopping for my apartment, all that good old stuff that, like, y'all want to see, or I, that I typically watch when somebody moves, I'm going to film that because, like I said, like, Sometimes I think we think as like people behind the camera, I think we think sometimes that you guys may not want to see this or, you know, who's going to watch this. But to be honest, if I watch videos like this, why wouldn't somebody else watch it? You know, we like are sometimes kind of hard on ourselves. Like, is this something somebody will watch? But somebody will watch it. Believe me. That's how y'all ordered a couch. I think I might have told y'all, but I might not have. So I went to the store. I got my couch from Bob's Furniture, and it's a really pretty couch. Like, it's really cute. And so, it's a nice little sectional couch. It's cute. Um, Baby, I had to pay it out of pocket. This stuff is pricey. Moving is pricey. Okay, City Girl's voice, pricey. Um, But, yeah, so, I had, I got my couch now. It's been, like, three weeks, I think. But, I brought my couch. And they say it's not going to be delivered till mid-February right now. Well, at this point, it was before Thanksgiving. Today's December 9th. Mid-February, they said that the warehouses are so, like, I guess, in high demand with making furniture and stuff. Um, They said it may be shortened, but as of right now, February. I just want, I wanted my stuff by my move, but it's okay. God's going to make it work out, and I'm not worried about it. I have it. It's just going to have to be literally. Um, yeah, so that is what it is. So I just have to get my cable and stuff. First of all, I'm even debating if I want cable or if I just want to do, like, these streaming services that I already have because... I got just these, honey, it's pricey living on the own. Pricey. It's not cheap out here. I feel like an adult adult. I'm checking like, mm, is this too much? I haven't even moved out yet. I'm looking at the bills now. I'm like, girl, girl, <laughs> girl. But I'm just so excited, y'all. And like I said, I've never lived on my own on my own. So, this is going to be a journey that y'all are going to be here for me with. 
um, or here with me. So I'm just excited that I can bring y'all along to just go through this experience with you guys and show you guys like you can do it on your own no matter what age you are. You know, I'm 28. It's never too late, y'all. Like you may say, oh my gosh, you're 28, just moving out. Yes, I moved out one time and I did it the wrong way. So I had to come back home and I'm moving back out. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm not upset at all. But I'm just saying that everything happens for a reason. And when it's your time, it's your time. So, you know, just trust God because it he does everything for a reason in his own time. I want to talk about power. Um, what is that? Power, book two ghosts. Y'all, first of all, if anybody knows me really well, you know that power is my show. I don't play when it comes to power. Like, I'm not missing an episode. I'm not missing anything, okay? I'm watching it at 12 a.m. midnight. When Power just came back on, on Sunday, y'all, 12.01, I was at the TV watching it. I don't play with Power, okay? It is one show that just gets your adrenaline rushing, and you're just like, I'm literally in the show. Basically, you could call me a character in the show because that's how invested I am in that show, okay? I think Tom is going to be back in this season. I think, yo, uh, I be trying, I be trying to everything on my chip, y'all, and it just don't be want to say. But I think Tom is going to be back in this season, especially with Too Big getting out of prison. Like, Too Big, Too Big, what's up? Too Big went to, y'all, y'all. When T.B. got out of jail, I was like, you know what? We back. We back. Power back. Because you know what? I'm going to just say that Tariq or Tariq, whatever, how, however you pronounce it, Tariq. Um, I need him to step it up a little bit. Like, I feel like Tariq is like, there's so many things he needs to be catching that he's not catching. I feel like when Riley was looking in that, in his book when he walked in his room. If somebody's saying your stuff, you're not going to question it. You're not just going to be like, Riley, what are you doing? And then she says, I was going to write a note. You know what? Why are you so naive? Why? If somebody's looking at my stuff, what are you looking for? Because why are you at my stuff? I need him to do a little bit more. Because he's not doing it for me. Like, the show's good. But I'm just saying, like... Tariq is like a lot of stuff going on around him and he's kind of missing the mark with some stuff like I need him to put some hands with somebody I need it to be Brayden's brother Brayden's brother Trace what, what's his name Trace he gotta go I think Trace is gonna probably try to snitch and something's gonna have to happen like something bad's gonna happen and I think that um, Riley is going to find out that Brayden is working with Tariq and she's going to like get quiet for um sex. You know? I'm so invested in the show. Yo, Kane is wild too. I like the actor who plays Kane. I liked him um, even you know, when he played a New Editions movie. So, I think the um, <clears throat> I think the role for Kane really fits him. Like he's a he's a really good character in that role. Um, I think he'll stick around, and I think that for some reason he may team up with um, T Bit and Tommy. Not sure, but that may happen because t if Tommy pulls up, T Bit definitely is going to be pulling up too. Like T Bit is about to be on the scene. Y'all just watch Arnell's. Um, you know Arnell Armand. She had her blog was saying I was dragging your zodiac signs. Yo, hilarious. I definitely looked up my birth chart before. And the interesting part is that like I am a Pisces. So I'm a Pisces sun. And then wait, let me find it because I have it. Oh, okay, I found it, y'all. So basically it says that I'm not gonna read my whole chart, but my you know, um my main sign, which is I think your sun sign is Pisces. And then my rising is Sagittarius and my moon is Libra. So, what is um, a Sag is, I think, um, what kind of sign is that? Is that a fire or earth sign? Okay, so it basically says that your rising sign, also known as your ascendant, is your social personality. It is how you dawn on people 
as it relates to the zodiac sign that was on the eastern horizon when you were born. My moon sign is a Libra and it says your moon sign is one of the most significant aspects of your astrological profile and is calculated based on the position of the moon at your time of birth and represents your emotional inward inner world. I find it interesting. I still don't know much about that stuff, but sometimes I look into like, you know, what they say about what each means and you know, things like that. So I haven't looked in a while, so I can't remember, but some things do, when I look, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense, you know, because I feel like when people meet me, they don't think I'm a Pisces. Like, you know how some people, for example, when I meet a Leo, I can tell it's a Leo before I even, before they even say it, they're Leo. I can tell because to me, Leos are like self-absorbed. And like they just love themselves like, like they love the attention and they just crave like people talking to them about them everything's been about them like but yeah but I always tend to like attract friends who are Leo's like I have quite a few friends who are Leo's and I love them so much I think I'm done with the food you know how you get to like a point of being comfortable I'm like comfortable like I don't want to overstuff myself but I'm like content and where I stand and my last bite was very good you know how sometimes you get a really good bite and you gotta just like stop and leave it at that yeah that's how I feel all right y'all so I just wanted to come to y'all to rant before I close this video out so you know Bath and Body's about Bath and Body Works candle day just passed like last weekend and honestly <clears throat> I knew it was coming, so it's not that. But it was just like, I've been doing the candle day for like, I think the past like four years, I think. It was at least four years, maybe five. But honestly, the prices are going up. And you know what, I understand that sometimes, you know, inflation, rates go up, things like that. The prices were almost $10 each. When I first started going to candle day, the prices were like $8.15, $8.25, I think. One of those two, I can't remember. But... Yeah, so now they're like almost ten dollars, and then like to me, that's not that far off from their regular sale. Like, so if I wait for candle day all year to get a ten dollar candle, y'all sometimes have twelve dollar sales. What's two dollars? I mean, I'm not saying every penny counts, but I'm just saying like at that point, I may as well just go for y'all twelve dollar sales. So I'm not sure if like the candle seems like lower than usual. To me, it does. It seems like it's like it doesn't come up as high. But that may just be like, I don't know, I also feel as though the, on the jar itself, like along the glass, it's like kind of sloppy. Like it's a whole line above where the candle actually starts. And it's like splatters of like wax and stuff on the glass. I just never had that happen before, so I was like confused, like Beth and Buddy. And then my boyfriend just got his today, and he said the same thing, like his had way more splatter on like his. Um, that mine's did. His was just way, like, messier looking. I've never had Beth and Mighty Candles look messy before, you know? Um, and then, since the season, it's my second candle, and the same thing, like, in the inside, it's just, like, candle wax all over, like, all around. And I was just really confused, because I'm like, I've never literally had candle wax splatters. Even, like, you know, this year, they had online for one day. Um... And they don't have free shipping. I feel like at least you can do is, for one, let us use a coupon online as you let us use in the store. Because every year that I've gone in the store, um, you can use an additional coupon. So you get the candle day sale plus whatever coupon that's applicable at that time. Um, but they don't let you do that online. Like you can only use the candle sale online and that's it because that's a sale code. Um, so that's one thing. You can't use the extra coupon online, but people who didn't want to go out for COVID reasons weren't able to, that, that's not fair to me. Also free shipping. Y'all are making so much money that y'all can't give people free shipping at least on candle day. And at least if you can't offer another coupon, Beth and Buddy, I've been a loyal customer for years, but you know what? I don't know because to be honest. I, I smell a lot of other good candles. Um, you know, I started buying TJ Maxx and Marshall's candles. Those candles smell very good. My friend Life Shadows, 
So those candles, they smell very good. And they're very inexpensive. And same with TJ Maxx and at home as well, Home Sense, they all sell candles. And the candles smell really good. And to be honest, to be honest, to be honest, Bath and Body Works candles do not burn well. Now, they're very potent and scented, but when they do burn, so every candle I've ever had from Bath and Body Works does not burn to the bottom. It stops at about right here because the wick stops burning about right here every time. I've never had a candle from Bath and Body Works go to the bottom. However, I did get a candle from TJ Maxx. It burned to the bottom of the glass. I literally saw glass around the wax, you know? So, to me, that's just like, and it was cheaper. So, it's like, where can I get my bang for my buck for, you know? Like, where can I get a good deal, but also a good candle, you know? That's what I'm looking for. But yes, guys, I'm going to close this vlog out because I have to get it edited. It's December 9th, and this is Vlogmas Day 9 video because I'm filming as the days go on. So, yeah, I'm going to get this um, vlog edited and posted to YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Yes.